In part 3 of Topology Explorer series, we have seen how to add IO model in your topology as well as how to set up driver receiver pair to run transient analysis. In this video, we will talk about how to create a single line connector spice model from scratch and how to add lossy trace model to make topology more realistic. So let's get started. In the very first step, we have to create a spice model for this connector. And as you can see on the screen, we need following values from the manufacturers, which we need to add in the notepad file by following some syntax. After adding all the syntax and all the values on notepad file, you have to save the notepad file inside the same directory with .ckt extension. Once the file is ready, let's go back to our topology. And here we need to replace xu2 with spice model. To do that, firstly, let's delete it. Delete this wire as well. And from here, we have to select spice model. Now, before placing it, we'll just double click on this and select the circuit file. Not is asking where you wanted to put first pin and second pin. In our case, it is a simple connector model. So it doesn't matter. Let's click on OK. So we have assigned our spice model to this connector. Now we have to just rotate it and place it here. Let's make it dim underscore CON. Now before moving to the next step, let's save this topology. In the next step, we are going to do few replacement in our topology to make it more realistic. We can do that by adding lossy transmission lines instead of lossless or ideal models. So let's replace TL1 first. To do that, again go to add block menu and from here you have to select trace. Now just delete TL1 and place lossy transmission line model or trace model here. Now after replacing transmission line 1 with trace, we are going to add a stack of information in lossy transmission line model. So it can get all the information from our PCB material property and trace properties. To do that, you have to just double click here and click on trace editor. After opening this, you have to click on input trace template. And from here, I'm going to select strip line and fill all the details here. After adding all the details here, just click on OK. Once you have done that, here I'm going to put couple of more layers because in our case trace is going to switch between two layers. So I'm just going to do that quickly. After that I will add thickness in mills and dielectric constant. Once you have filled all the details, you have to generate W element model by clicking on that and all the changes will be implemented on trace. So let's click on this as well. So as you can see, if I zoom in a little bit here. Now the trace impedance is 50 ohm after adding all the stack up information. We can increase the size of this text by just right click here and increase the font size. Similarly, in the next step, I'm just going to replace TL2, TL4 and TL3 transmission line with lossy transmission line model. And after that, I'm just going to add length on each lossy transmission lines. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Here we go. So we have replaced all the transmission line with lossy transmission line model. Now we are ready to do transient analysis. To do that, we'll just click over start transient analysis from workflow manager. And here we go. You can zoom in by clicking here and here. All right. So as you can see, the waveform is pretty much stable compared to the previous one because we have added all the stack up information. We have made the trace impedance to 50 ohm. So that's it for part four of Topology Explorer series. In the next part, we will talk about source synchronous topology and how to run sweep analysis. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.